Well, a possible thawing of tensions could be on the horizon between North and South Korea. We heard the president talk about it. The two countries have agreed to begin talks about North Korea's participation in next month's Winter Olympics. It's held in South Korea. Talks are set for Tuesday at the Peace House that's in the demilitarized zones that separate the two nations. In his New Year's speech, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un departed from his harsh rhetoric, saying that he hoped his country would be allowed to participate in the Winter Games. On Thursday, Secretary of Defense James Mattis told reporters that he questions North Korea's true motive, saying that he wouldn't read too much into it because that the U.S. doesn't know if the proposed talks are a genuine olive branch. But on Saturday, as I mentioned, the president applauded the talks and he took credit for their development. Right now, they're talking Olympics. It's a start. It's a big start. If I weren't involved, they wouldn't be talking about Olympics right now. They'd be doing no talking or they would be much more serious. He knows I'm not messing around. I'm not messing around. Not even a little bit. Not even 1%. He understands that. At the same time, if we can come up with a very peaceful and very good solution, we're working on it with Rex, we're working on it with a lot of people. If something can happen and something can come out of those talks, that would be a great thing for all of humanity. Matthew Kranig, senior fellow with the Atlantic Council and professor at Georgetown University, joins me now to talk about this. So, Matthew, do you think people should be optimistic about these talks? Well, I think it is a, a positive step. It shows that the U.S. strategy is working. Uh, the U.S. strategy has been to increase the pressure on North Korea to try to force them to the table uh, to discuss denuclearization. Uh, so it's a step in the right direction. Uh, but I don't think we should be too optimistic. Uh, the U.S. goal, uh, the South Korean goal, is to get North Korea to completely dismantle its nuclear program. And I don't think there's any indication at this point that that's what Kim Jong-un wants to discuss. Rather, it seems like these talks are going to be focused on more narrow issues uh, like participation in the upcoming Olympic Games. So, Matthew, if denuclearization is not going to happen, how do you move forward with these talks between the North and South? Where do you take the conversation? Well, the South Koreans have been interested in a few uh, more modest steps. Uh, they've been interested in having a channel of communication to deconflict any potential uh, military accidents. Uh, that's been reestablished just last week. Uh, they've also been interested in having family reunions. Uh, there are many families that have been split uh, when the two countries were split, and the South Korean government is interested in, in reunifying uh, uh, those families. And then third is participation in the Olympic Games, which is something of an insurance policy. Uh, many are concerned that North Korea could seek to attack or disrupt uh, the games. But if the North Koreans have a delegation there, then it's much less likely that there will be uh, any problems. So those are some of the smaller steps that will be discussed this week. Matthew, we've heard some people say that, you know, this overture by North Korea could actually drive a wedge between the U.S. and the South. How? Well, as I mentioned before, the U.S. goal is to increase the pressure on North Korea to get them to discuss denuclearization. Uh, the North Korean goal is to have its cake and eat it, too. Uh, they want to have a robust nuclear program and they want to have sanctions relief. Uh, so I think the reason Kim Jong-un is suddenly interested in these talks is he's hoping he can reach out to the Moon administration uh, and get the Moon administration to start to relieve some of the pressure in exchange for some of these other things, uh, goals of the South Korean government that I mentioned before, reestablishing channels of communication, family reunification, uh, Olympics participation. So Kim Jong-un, I think, is looking to split the alliance to some degree and get a relief uh, from the sanctions. How confident are you, Matthew, that diplomacy will win? <laughs> well, it's a, it's a hard problem. Uh, it's, it's essentially been a bipartisan policy failure for several decades. Many diplomatic uh, attempts, none have worked out. Uh, so I'm not very confident, but I think it is worth a shot just because the alternatives, uh, living with a nuclear armed North Korea for decades to come, or uh, short-term military conflict are both so unpalatable. So I think uh, diplomacy is worth a shot. Unpalatable is a very good word. Thank you very much, Matthew, for joining us. Thank you, Rena.